it is Christmas time, so we do have a little Christmas action for the Hooligan of the Week. Um, Andy's been pretty excited about this one. One person specifically, in specific, how, whatever I should have said there is what I meant to say. Um, Andy, so you want to tee us up for this one? Happily. So we knew we had to bring it for this Christmas episode, and I think that this is one that will get the people buzzing, and that would be Kevin McAllister from Home Alone versus Tim Allen's Santa Claus from the Santa Claus, Scott Calvin. Obviously, you can't have a Christmas who would win without bringing up Kevin McAllister, Macaulay Culkin's character in Home Alone. Just because he's like, you know, he's like the the, the king of, of Christmas battles, I guess. Yeah. No, without a doubt. Um, I I saw a pretty funny Family Guy clip that I'd never seen before on the internet yesterday. And it was like, uh, what would have really happened in Home Alone? <laughs> And, uh, like, the two guys walk in the front door. And the one guy looks back at the other. He's like, oh, there's toy cars on the ground here. Just, like, be careful. And the other guy looks over. He's like, oh, yeah, and there's ice at the top of the basement stairs. And then, like, Kevin McAllister walks down the stairs and is about to say something. And one guy just looks at him and shoots him and goes, no witnesses. And then they just rob the whole house. Um, <laughs> um, I actually watched the Santa Claus 2 today. It was on. I was wrapping some gifts. I didn't watch the whole thing, but um, had a little gift wrapping break that I took while I was doing some laundry, and yeah. So I'm trying to think of which direction I want to go in first. I think in this scenario, are we seeing if Tim Allen Santa can like successfully break into Kevin McAllister's house or are they yeah, like let's fighting? Do, like, let's do, I think that's where both of their skill sets are going to shine. So I think that's exactly yeah, what I we should that's set what it up. Should do. Um, okay. So I like that. So I'll jump right into it. Um, Kevin McAllister is the best of all time at duping people though, like faking people out. That's clear. He, I don't know how he comes up with the ideas that he does, but he's very good at it. Tim Allen Santa Claus, though, is a powerful, powerful Santa Claus. Now, he doesn't really have – I mean, like, does he have magic powers? Like, what? Like, what's the classification there? Because – well. We do like, see in the Santa Claus 2, which I wasn't even going to bring up, but we do see in the Santa Claus 2 that he does have some type of ability to use magic to manipulate things. Cause he, because he gets all those, he gets all those gifts, gifts there. And he literally makes the mistletoe appear and, you know, in that same scene. Yeah. Um, I, I have a hard time fighting for Kevin McAllister in this fight because I I do think that he's the best at what he does. But the Tim Allen Santa Claus, not only does he have, we'll just call it a hint of magic, um, but he knows, like, everything about every kid. You know what I mean? Like, when kids walk up to him, he knows their names and he knows what they want for Christmas and he knows if they've been good or bad because he's been watching. Not, you know, not to, like, make a cliche of it but um so you have to imagine that he somehow understands the way that kevin McAllister's thought process works because he knows if he's being good or bad and he's watching him he knows his name and stuff like that and what he wants without even having to do it and i'm not saying that like he's like sitting there watching him set up per se, but like he, he has like this, that sixth sense of like, he knows when they're sleeping and when they're awake, you know, he knows when they're being bad or good. So I feel like he has the ability to tell somewhat what's going on in Kevin McAllister's brain. So with that, on top of the fact that he's got a 
a little touch of magic, I think that he has a really good chance of winning this fight. Excuse me. That is an excellent point. So we're talking, we're getting right down to it. Sun Tzu's Art of War. Yeah, I dove right enemy. in. And if you're a kid, who is going to know you better than Santa Claus? If you're Santa Claus preparing to go Nobody. up against a kid, you cannot be better prepared than that. The thing that I like about this matchup, having Tim Allen as opposed to just Santa Claus in general, is that in the first movie, we mostly see this, but he's a very tech-forward Santa Claus. You know, he's got a lot of gizmos and gadgets. And Kevin McAllister also has that mechanical mind, obviously, setting up these traps and things Thrives like that. Thrives on gizmos and gadgets, yeah. Yes, they, that's, I think that's where they both thrive, is kind of innovation. And, like, playing tricks on the eye is big for Kevin McAllister. Or, like, like use, like use tricking people's senses, right, with sound right. and sight. and Right. Yeah. And Santa definitely, he's got to do everything in the dark, right? So he's obviously kind of like pretty prepared to, to deal with that stuff. And he's also going into – That's what I mean. He's prepared to sneak minutes. down a chimney and mm -hmm. tiptoe over toys that are already there. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? And, and yes. that's kind of his thing. Like Kevin McAllister was able to fight off people who were breaking into his house expecting no one to be there. Whereas Santa Claus is the master of – breaking into people's houses when they are there and not getting caught. Mm -hmm. And each minute to minute, he's he's in a different house, a completely different landscape, a completely situation that he has to adjust to. Yeah, and it's unfortunate that these two have to go against each other because you have to assume that they'd, they'd be best pals, you know? Yeah. I think um, there would be a lot not of Not best pals, but, like, obviously, yeah, yeah like, Kevin McAllister would right, appreciate Tim Allen as Santa, Santa Claus, and, mm -hmm. and Tim Allen as Santa is a, a great Santa for children. Um, Boy. I, but I really man. don't – and and I agree that it's a good fight because, I, like, you can't underestimate Kevin's abilities because you also have to remember that Santa Claus – I mean, I guess this kind of depends on the scenario again, but I think it's more of a game here. It's more of like a cat and mouse game yeah. than like Santa Claus is actually trying to break in and either like hurt him or rob him. This is all. So you have to assume like almost, Santa Claus is much more lighthearted than the sticky bandits. So hmm. if he does at some point maybe get tripped up or something like that or. Is he going to prevail the way that the Sticky Bandits do, even though he doesn't have that evil side to him? Sure. I, I think so. Because, I mean, he's obviously not evil, but Scott Calvin is yeah. an emotional guy. But in the scenario. Sure. And I, do, and yeah, I so still think the, that. In the scenario. In the scenario, if he gets caught sleeping a couple times and Kevin is able to pull a few things over on him, then he will start to get pretty agitated. Which could, again, work in Kevin's favor. I 100% would definitely work. That. I would definitely work in, in Kevin's favor. But I... I want to say this. My theory is my, I have a hard time believing that even though he's so good at what he does, I think that Santa Claus is better. Like Santa Claus is pretty much in his brain. Mm -hmm. Is how I'm yeah. looking at it. So I just don't think that he'll be able to pull one over on Santa like he pulls one over on the robbers. Sure, a couple of second class right? criminals. Yeah, yeah, that's that's an excellent point. Now Kevin, he's also, I mean Kevin's a smart kid too. He's definitely aware that Santa is going to have an innate knowledge kind of like what he's in for. So the question is: So maybe Kevin, Kevin goes oppo, but right. that's what I'm saying. Wouldn't Even if Kevin, Kevin goes opposite, wouldn't Santa know that Kevin's going opposite? Yes. Now here's here's our problem because we could keep going in loops like this all day, and that is why this this fight is almost more of a 
mental altercation than a physical one. Oh, this specific fight is is almost entirely mental. I don't yeah. want to see Santa Claus kick anybody's ass. And I, you know, like I don't want to see Kevin McAllister kick Santa Claus's ass either. So this fight is is, is completely mental. Well, okay, but this this is this is mental warfare, and I think that Tim Allen. as Santa Claus is bright enough to know exactly what's going to come and where it's going to come from because he has a general understanding of what's going on in Kevin McAllister's mind. Yeah. I, like, think about this. Yeah. Kevin McAllister, I mean, a lot of his, like, technique is based off of the use of toys, but who knows toys better than Santa Claus? I just talked myself into another great point. There you go. Jesus. I did not expect to be swayed so much. Me to bring the heat like this? Yeah. I brought the heat today you really on who would win of the week. Let's just make that clear, boy. So Jeez. I'll start. I'll lock in my answer right now. I'm going with Tim Allen as Santa Claus. Final answer for me. I'm going to let Andy think it out a little bit because I got him on the ropes. But honestly... I've given you a lot of good hard facts oh, here. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. What, I mean, I here's the thing. I don't know how you could still go Kevin McAllister. I do understand mm-hmm. that there's a, there is that chance, but again, sure. it's gun to your head. Are you are you thinking like what's more likely to happen? That chance that it does right. happen, or the larger chance that it doesn't? Right. Yeah. That's a, that's a great one. You know, that's. Uh... Coming into this, I had no, I mean, I uh, basically did expect Kevin to win. And maybe that's because Tim Allen Santa Claus is a pretty funny character. And in the first one, we do see him get caught and stuff like that. But that's when he's new to the game. And now that, assuming that he's been in it for a while, which for sure we can, if he's going up against a you know a heavyweight like Kevin, he's going to be bringing the heat. And I think what all this boils down to is that if you're a kid, even at the level of Kevin McAllister, the worst enemy you could hope to go against is Santa Claus. You better Santa hope Claus. that Santa does not flip the switch and start turning things around. Because of all those points you made, I mean, look, I, I think that Kevin would certainly put up a, a big, fu- you know, a great fight. But there's no, there's just no way that Santa Claus, Tim Allen, Santa Claus, Scott Calvin, wouldn't be able to just sidestep basically and and throw the kid for a loop and take him down. So I got to lock in my answer as Tim Allen, Santa Claus. Easy, without a doubt, which I can't believe I'm saying it because I fully expected Kevin to win going into this fight. But when you when you when you lay it all out like that, I mean, nobody knows kids better than Santa Claus. And if you're a kid like Kevin, and toys are in fact your your number one resource, I mean, you're you're toast. Toast. You're toast. You're toast. We said that at the same time. That's good stuff. All right, so as always, vote on that. I, Andy, it's good to finally have you on the winning side. Um, I bet. But I check that be out. Surprised though. I hope you. Folks you think vote Kevin McAllister right is going to bring the heat? Yeah, because everybody wants. Because I think that Kevin McAllister is. I think that is, everybody wants Kevin McAllister to win. I do think that that's absolutely. like because I thought this on the way in. I was thinking in my head like I kind of want Kevin McAllister to win, but I couldn't talk myself mm-hmm. into it. And then I was getting on, and I was like. Literally, my first thought when I got on was, I think that Andy and I are going to agree. Like, there's no way he doesn't take Tim Allen. And then I had a reverse thought, man in the suit. And I was like, wait a minute. Everybody wants Kevin McAllister to win this fight. Because when you watch the Home Alone movies, you want Kevin McAllister to succeed. Mm -hmm. So it's tough to say that you think he's going to lose. But I do. I think he's going to lose. And in the movies, he surpasses every expectation that you would have for a kid. Yeah, so you're like he's yeah that as well. again. You're like he's, yeah. and I think that Kevin um, McAllister probably 
more than any other person in uh, Christmas lore has been used in the way we're using him now. Like, to you know, if you could go up against Kevin McAllister, like, who's going to take him down? Yeah. Um, and I think, like you said, I mean, maybe, you know, it's not up for debate. He's a cute kid. You're going to, he's, you know, he's going to be able to charm you. you know? Spin off who, spin off who would win of the week. We won't get into it now. Honorable mention, Kevin McAllister versus Ferris Bueller. That. I like that. that That's a battle. A but spin off, we won't get into it. We'll just leave that sitting in the thoughts and minds of the listeners. 